Warm sunshine is the order of the day here in Limerick for the Con and Annie Kirby Memorial Stake Puppy Final. The richest race of its kind in the world with €80,000 on offer for the winning connections. The stake is sponsored by the McManus family of Martinstown. First up we have the Sean O'Connor Cup Final for those dogs eliminated in the early rounds of the Kirby. One, Uncle Wexford. Two, Knockbone Rankin. Three, Riverside Tiger. Four, Burgess Paddy. Five, Clonbrine Prince. And six, Orby Bullet. First running of the Sean O'Connor Cup final. And three is away well. Riverside Tiger. So two, Orby Bullet as they race towards the opening. Couple of turns and there's trouble at the back of the field. Up front, it's six, or by Bullet in front by two lengths. Clon Brian Prince is in second. Third is four, Burgess Paddy. The bottom couple of turns now. Six, or by Bullet still leads. A handsome price on the toad off the final turn. It's six, five, and four. Or by Bullet, Clon Brian Prince, and Burgess Paddy. Winning time, 28.33. The runners are on parade now for the Khan and Annie Kirby Memorial Stake Final. First up, trained by Francie Murray for Master Jingles, jointly owned by Karen Walsh and Gordon Elliott of Clean. This fella, son of Taylor Sky and Bonus. Third, last time out. In the blue jacket, the head hunter for the Antonio Bennett Schofield Syndicate of London. The trainer is Peter Cronin, a son of Droopy Scalari and Sam Avaya. Number three, Lemon Shane for the Secret Service Syndicate of Abbey Nakmoy, third in its quarterfinal. The trainer is Jerry Holian, a son of Droopy's Jet and Lemon Bolt. Graham Holland runs number four, Slippy Keen for the Full House Syndicate of Castle Triview in Limerick. A string of wins to his credit, a son of Crash Global and Liberty. The second of the Holland runners is in the orange jacket, that Blue East for Larry O'Rourke of Ascot, second in the semi-final, a son of Droopy's Jet and Lemon Bolt. Number six is the warm favourite and has been the favourite for a long time, Droopy's Davy, trained by Pat Buckley, looking to win the Kirby for the third year on the trot. The owners Michael Dunphy and Mark Gilbert, a son of Droopy's Nidge and Droopy's Loner. The final of the Con and Annie Kirby Memorial Stake. One Master Jingles, two De Head Hunter, three Lemon Shane, four Slippy Keen, five Blue East, and six Droopy's Davy. The favourite isn't away well. Five is Blue East, six is going very wide towards the turn, two in the frame. The Head Hunter as they go towards the second bend. Are we going to have an upset here on the cards? Has now Droopy's Davy hits the front and hits it in some style. No way. Six Droopy's Davy clear by four to five lengths off the final bend. After a very poor start, it's Droopy's. The headhunter and Slippy Keen, 28 10. A third winner on the trot for trainer Pat Buckley of the Kirby. Droopy's Davy is celebrating so too the connections Michael Dunphy and Mark Gilbert and the GA Club as nominator Kappa Confirmation of the result in the final a win for number six Droopy's Davy second number two the head hunter and third four Slippy Keen time 28-10 Does your daddy train him? He does. I guess that. Okay. Are you holding? Okay.
It's fantastic. It's a, one of the best races, I think, in Graham racing. So, well, it's just like, you know, we're just over the moon, really. And I'd like to thank uh, JP McManus family for sponsoring it. It's a fantastic event, and it's um, brilliant of them to sponsor a race like this. Was there any doubt, maybe at the first spin, that Drobies might not win? Uh, yeah, when he didn't trap, I was a bit worried, to be honest with you, but he's, um, he's a real class dog. I think Pat Butley's a brilliant trainer, obviously, three times on the trot. And, uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, when the trap's open, my mouth was in, you know, I thought he, was, you know, he had to lead, really. So he's one brilliant, really. He's a good dog, I think. Uh, lads, it means so much. Like um, At the moment, we're, we're um, in the process of uh, development, developing a, a walkway around our field. Um, a community walkway for the use that'll be for everyone and tonight's money will make that dream a reality for us so it's it's massive it's huge no, it's, it, we're delighted thrilled be an understatement did the whole event bring the Kappa Club together over the last number of rounds? It did indeed. Um, you could see even here tonight, the crowds kept getting bigger and bigger when they knew that the dog was progressing. And like just here tonight, you can see there's up on 50 and 60 people. The whole of Kappa will be empty. And I'm sure it'll be empty for the rest of the night as well, hopefully, with the celebrations that will, that will go on.